Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make the zigzag tessellation. Okay? See? Because it's a tessellation and has zigzags on it. Okay? And yeah, and I think it's a pretty cool model. Alright, so I'm going to use this heat of paper right here, but I'm sure you can use any dimension. Okay? Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to estimate thirds. So, we're going to fold this up, and we're going to fold it up so that this is equal to that. Okay? And now let's fold this behind, like this. And just kind of fiddle with the folds until they line up. Okay? So, yeah. Okay, and just pinch them like that when the points line up. Okay? Alright, and now you can hold it there. Now, now let's do the same thing on this side. Just estimate it first. And you can fold this behind like this. And pinch them like that, okay? And now, um, unfold, okay? And now let's fold this edge to these two pinch marks. Okay? Just like this. Okay, and now let's turn over, and now let's fold this edge to this edge. Just like this. I think that's what I did with this model. I did thirds at first, okay? But yeah. I'm sure you can use any grid for this. But we're going to make a 6x6 six six grid, okay? Alright. Unfold. And now whichever creases the mountain, let's make it into a valley. Just, yeah, like that. Okay, unfold. All right, now let's do thirds in this direction. So fold this up halfway and it estimate it first. And you can fold this back like this. And if the points are not lined up right, then you just have to fiddle with them until they do. Okay, and like that, and then keep it there and do the same thing on this side. like that and then just make them line up like that okay and fold this edge to these two pinch marks okay and on and turn over and let's fold this edge to this edge okay just like that Okay, and now unfold, and whichever creases the mountain, make it into a valley. So this is the mountain, so make it into a valley. Okay. By the way, this is this is a kind of a tricky model. So um, uh, if you're new to, if you're new to folding, I will I don't know if I recommend folding this model. Okay, but if you're up for the challenge, then let's continue. Okay. All right, now let's fold this edge to the nearest crease. Okay. Like this. But yeah, this model, it, it'll be easy once you get the hang of it, okay? Yeah. Just a reminder, okay? Now unfold. And now let's fold in half. Okay? Just like this. Okay? Like that. And unfold. And now let's rotate and make this again if you want. Okay, and now let's fold this edge to the nearest crease. Okay, it's like that. Alright, and unfold. Okay, alright, now let's do the same thing in this direction. So make sure the creases are vertical. Okay, and you can, I'm just going to make these again so you can, I'm just going to make this again so you can see it better. Okay, fold this edge to the nearest crease. Okay, like this. And unfold and now fold in half. Okay, unfold and now I'm just gonna make this again. You can see it a bit better. Okay, like that and fold this edge to the nearest crease. 
the nearest crease, okay? All right, just like that. And guess what? There is our six by six grid, okay? See? One, two, three, four, five, six in this direction, and one, two, three, four, five, six going down. So it's a six by six grid, okay? All right, and now we're going to form the tessellation now. So we're gonna, we're gonna make the zigzags now, okay? And this is what we're going to do. So we're gonna make pinches, okay? So uh, here it goes. So this first row right here is going to be valleys, okay? But it, it, it doesn't actually matter. I'm, I'm gonna make this first row to be valleys, okay? It can be mountains if you want, but I'm gonna do valleys first, okay? So valleys, and then the second row is gonna be mountains. And then the third is valleys again. And then the fourth is mountains, fifth is valleys, and sixth is uh, mountains, okay? Alright, so, let's start out with this bottom row. So, um, we're going to turn over like this so that the... And if you, if you, if you do choose to, for the first row to be valleys, so if you are going to make valleys, then you turn over so that the creases are um, mountains, okay? And now, um, I'm going to draw this in for you with a pencil. So that, um... See, I'm gonna draw this intersection in, and then I'm gonna draw right here. Okay, so we're gonna make um we're gonna make a diagonal fold from that goes from this intersection point to this point right here. Okay, so we're just gonna pinch it like this. Okay, and you can make that fold. Okay, just like that. So that's what it looks like right there. Okay, all right, and now now we're gonna do is, is um, we're gonna make another diagonal fold. That goes from that same intersection point. We're going to do it from there to that point right there. Okay? Just like this. Okay? Like that. Okay? So that's what it looks like right there. Okay? See? Alright, now let's do it again. So we're going to make one that goes from this point right here, this intersection, to that point right there. Okay? Just like this. Alright, like that, okay? And do the same thing all the way across. So we're going to make one from that point to that point. Okay? Okay, and this point to that point. And last one. Okay, my pencil. Okay. All right, so that's the valleys. Well, turn it over, and there's that first row done with valleys. Okay. Now this next row is going to look exactly the same as this first row, but mountains instead of valleys. So here goes. Okay. So if you are doing mountains, then um, keep keep the side up. Make sure the creases right here are valleys. Okay. And I'm going to draw this in for you, so you can see it better, okay? Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're, is we're going to make a mountain fold, a diagonal mountain fold that goes from this point, that, inter that intersection right there, to that point right there, okay? So here it goes. Okay, just like that. And now, we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to make one from that goes from that point to that point right there. Okay, a diagonal mountain fold. Okay, it's like that. So that's what it looks like right there, okay? And do the same thing all the way across. So do that same pattern. It's a zigzag pattern, pattern. okay? A zigzag pattern of valleys and mountain folds. Okay. Or a zigzag pattern of valleys on one row and then another zigzag pattern pattern on the second row and it's, it's mountains. Okay, okay, all right, enough with that, okay? 
Alright, so that's what it looks like. So it looks exactly the same. But it's mountains instead of valleys, okay? Alright. And now this third row is going to be valleys again. So here it goes. So let's turn over so that the the grid is um mountains, okay? And I'm gonna draw this in again. Okay. Like this. Okay, and we're gonna make a mountain fold that goes from that point to that point right there. That intersection to that point. Right there, okay? So here it goes. Okay, and now we're gonna make one that goes from that intersection point to that point right there. Alright, just like that. Okay. And do the same thing all the way across. Okay. Alright, so there it is, the mountain folds, okay, like this, or maybe on this side, it's valleys, okay, alright, so see how the tessellation is taking shape, okay, so valleys, mountain valleys, and now, again, this next row right here is going to be mountains, okay, so here it goes. Okay, see, that point to that point. Do that again. Alright, just like that, okay? Alright, so there's the mountains and now more valleys. Turn on the back side and let's go for it. Okay, just like that. Turn over, and there's the valleys, okay? Alright, and now this final row. Yep, guess what? It's gonna be mountains. So, here it goes. So, or we can just turn over in this first one. We can just fold this. We can just fold uh, this point to um, that intersection point right there, that point, okay? Yeah, we can just do that on the first one. Okay? Like this, and now. You can just finish it on the side. So, I'm just gonna make one from that point to that point. Okay, just like that. Okay, now this last one you can just fold. You can just fold that point. To that intersection point right there. Okay, thank God we did all that. All right, and now it's time to collapse it to, to form the tessellation. Okay, so here it goes. This is tricky. So good luck at this. Okay. All right. So let's start out from the bottom. So let's just kind of pinch everything together like this. Okay. If you're a beginner to this, then it's tricky, but 
if you know all about origami and stuff like that, then this should be fairly easy, okay? All right, now just kind of push everything together on the existing creases. Okay, like that, like so. And just flatten everything down on the surface like this. Increase sharply if you want on everything. Okay, just like that, and there you have it. Okay, the zigzag tessellation. Oh, and, and I've, I, one thing I forgot about this model is that it's ISO area too, see? If you turn it over, it's ISO area, so it's the same on this side too. Okay. Yep, there it is. So I should, I should name it that, the ISO area zigzag tessellation, okay? So here it is. Maybe it can be a squishy, yeah, kind of. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys managed to fold that. It's it's, it's kind of tough to fold, but um, yeah, it's ISO area, and and it's pretty cool. Okay. I like the way it looks. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty cool model. Okay. So yeah, there it is. It's an action model because you can squish it. Okay, alright, well, that's the zigzag tessellation. Alright, comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye.